you guessed that? You really are wicked smart, aren't you? <laughs> Would you like me to explain how it works? It's a drive that sends you to other dimensions. It's a bit more complicated than that. Is it? <sighs> Just a blip. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. You know, I'm surprised this ship has a stellar cartography room. No, it's you. Is it? Huh. Lucky me. You know, I always loved when ships use these. The idea of needing a whole room just to make star charts is... Uh, well, I just find it very charming. Good for you. Something's the matter, isn't it? And how would you know that? Like I said before, I see things others don't. Even if that were the case... You don't have clearance. Maybe I can help. For all I know, you could be a draconian spy. Understand this, Doctor. Right now, the Captain is the only thing standing between you and a cell. Captain's Log. Initial launch of the Dimension Drive has been a resounding success. We are currently in an unknown space and are taking initial readings of the... Hang on. The, the view screen just self-activated. But that's impossible. Uh, ho hold on, I can... I can see something out there. What is... Ah! The emergency alarm. Quick, to the bridge. You heard the commander. Come on, to the bridge. Oh my god. Captain. What are you doing? Get away! I'm checking his pulse! Stay back! You don't have clearance to do that. He's trying to save the captain's life, moron! Pull off! He was dead before we got here. How the hell do you know that? No pulse, no brain activity, cold as the grave. Not only is he dead, but something drained him dry. Drained him dry? Are you saying he was killed by a vampire or something? No, 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 no. Vampires drain blood. Whatever did this to Captain Lexington's body heat and bioelectricity, the only question is whether it needs those things as a form of sustenance or... Or what? I don't know. That is not comforting. Then what use are you? For all we know, it could have been you. No, I was with you when it happened, and I'm unarmed. Don't be stupid. Do not be stupid. Stupid as dead meat. You just want it to be me because you want a reason to lock me up. The reality of the situation, Commander, is that I am the one chance you have of staying alive. And what assurance do I have of that? Because I don't know what this is. That's encouraging. No, it really isn't. Here. Is that a quill in parchment? You had that in your pocket? Borrowed it from a friend. Hang on. Look, you see that? All I see is some scribbles. Yes, because your only qualification is being good at telling people what to do. Here, Samuels, Lance, take a look at this, would you? What do you make of it? Oh my god. Is that... Oh, I think it is. What? What is it? It's transdimensional engineering. This is how it works. You're... You're a genius. No, you're a genius. I just have a head start. Animal sub genius. You couldn't just be humble for one second. I think I've adequately proven my credentials, don't you? You tore it up? Sorry about that, but you're just not ready for it. History is a dragon eating its own tail, and I wouldn't want you to get burned. Can't say I disagree. Are we done wasting time here? If you haven't noticed, the captain is dead. I have, and it's a tragedy. But we have to focus now. Because whatever killed Captain Lexington is still on the ship and will keep killing us until we can find some way of stopping it. And how do you propose we do that? We find out what it wants. Why can't we just get the ship back to normal space? Out of the question. That's easy for you to say. I've got a family back home. If we engage the drive while this thing is still on the ship, we run the risk of bringing it back to our own dimension. <sighs> You're right, of course you're right. <sighs> so, how do we find out what it wants? We have to find some way of communicating with it. If we could adjust the comms array, perhaps we could find a frequency amenable to both parties. So, 
what you're saying is we gotta pick up some good vibrations. <laughs> Why is that funny? Lance, could you be a lamb and tell me where the primary power conduit for the upper decks is? Maintenance tube 5. Why? Because I need to reroom it through the comm relay. That's a two-man job. The switch is on both ends. I volunteer. No, I should do it. With all due respect, Doctor, I don't trust you rooting around in my ship. These kind of modifications fall under my jurisdiction. Right, right. Well, in that case, I'll operate the relay. Under my direct supervision. Okay, whatever makes you feel important. You think they could have made these a little roomier? They didn't design this ship for our comfort. Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe a bar in the rec room? Maybe a rec room. Keep dreaming. Right, this is your stop. Right. I'll start making the necessary adjustments. See that you do. I plan on collecting a nice, fat payout when this is all done. <laughs> Keep dreaming. I covered Captain Lexington in a shawl. I'm sorry about what happened. Thank you. It's, uh... It's still a shock, to be honest. Do you think the doctor can help us? Yeah. Yeah, I think he can. I've seen him do the impossible a few times now. I hope you're right. He seems... dangerously insane. That's part of his charm. Look, if you really insist on being so difficult, I'm going to have no choice but to- Who are you talking to? The communication relay. We're having a breakdown in... well... What's the status on Lance and Samuels? That's what I've been working on. I've been trying to get a direct feed, but it's insisting on being temperamental. Try this. Is he done yelling at that relay yet? My ears could only take so much. How did you fix it? The mic was turned off. Yes, well, I can't be expected to think of everything now, can I? <laughs> You're such an old man. Lance, Samuels, status report. Uh, we've completed the modifications the doctor outlined. All systems go, Commander. Good work, you two. We'll make it out of this yet. I'm going to begin cycling through frequency modulations. With any luck, we'll find what we're looking for. Hold on. I think I'm getting something. You aren't the only one. What was that, Lieutenant Lance? There's, there's some sort of bright light at the end of the tube. I think... I, I think it's right around the corner. I've got some kind of message coming through. It's garbled, but... I think it's cold. What What do I do? You need to run. Now. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Lance. I, I can't move. I'm sorry. I, I just, I just can't. I can't. Involuntary atavistic paralysis. Listen, I'm translating this into a wavelength I think you can understand. Why are you killing us? What do you want? If you just tell us, we can- Doctor, it's getting closer. I, I think I can- I think I can see- uh, Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Lieutenant, report. Ah! 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 Samuels, you need to get out of there now! But I'm sorry, but there's nothing we can do for him. Now run! Lieutenant, I order you to get out of there now. Do you copy? I copy, Commander. I... I can't believe I've lost someone else. This isn't your fault. Don't patronize me. Uh, I'm just trying to... Well, stop trying. We have a message. What? When? It sent a message in some kind of garbled code. I managed to decipher it, and... Well, now we know what it wants. What's that? What does it matter? It killed Lance anyway. It matters because everything we learn about this creature gives us a better chance of stopping it. Now, the message translated to a single phrase, repeated over and over and over. And? What is it? I want a vessel. It's after the ship? Why? It must be trying to cross over into our dimension. Based on the intelligence and actions it's demonstrated so far, Pose a very dire threat indeed. Are you alright? Me? Yeah. 
You know, when I ran away with you, I left everything behind without a second thought. I mean, for all I know, my car is still parked in the woods. I figured it wasn't much to leave, but I miss it. And I don't... Is that weird? I feel like that's weird. No, that's about the most human thing I've ever heard, actually. But it doesn't answer my question. Are you alright? Yeah, I think I am. After everything we faced together, I know you'll figure something out. And what if I don't? What if I can't save the crew? What if I can't save you? Doctor? Yeah? Are you alright? Step one, find out what it wants. Step two, use that to stop it. Step three, save as many people as I can. It seems so simple when you lay it all out like that. It usually is, but this is different. The outcome is decided. The game is rigged. The story is written. can't just give up. I can't ever give up. Giving up is not what the doctor would do. Is it? Well, what do you think? I, I think, think you should, should give, give up. up. I, I think, think you should, should run, run away. away. And, and accept, accept that you can't win here. Otherwise, otherwise, you will die. die. And the future will die with you. The future is undecided. Time can be rewritten. You do die the inevitable. You do die me. Give me, Doctor. Let me take the wheel. Only I have the strength of will to do what's right. And that's why you'll stay locked away to the grave, if I must. You have no, no choice. choice. I will take control. I will do the work that comes ahead. Attempting to stop it will only make it worse. The outcome is decided. The game. Is rigged. The story is rigged. And you can't rewrite it. Not one. Lie. So, what do we do now? Don't you have any weapons? This is a scientific vessel. And besides, how are we supposed to fight if we can't even see it? I'm sure the doctor has some idea- And where is he? I haven't seen him since we lost Lance. Right here. And where the hell have you been? In the engine room analyzing the data we've gathered. I'm trying to learn something. And what have you found? Lots of things, but uh, I can't make a head or tail of any of it. That doesn't sound like you. The creature left some kind of residual mark on its victims. When I looked into it, I found some sort of coat, but I have no idea what any of it means. Billions of quantum fragments of data with billions more inside each one. It'd take a thousand years just to get through the first handful. Even after I reconfigured the dimension drive to power an automated decryption algorithm. You did what? Oh, well, it's quite simple, really. I you tampered with our engines? You could have killed us, you idiot! Oh, no, I assure you, it'll work much better now. Is that really necessary? What did you do to him? It's a containment field. I knew you'd end up betraying us, Doctor. When we get out of this, I'll personally see to it that you face justice for your crimes. I think I'm the least of your problems. Don't try to distract me, Doctor. Are you deaf? That thing's coming back! Let him go now! Don't give me orders. Oh my god. I see it. Samuels. Don't look at it. Close your eyes! Now! 